Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll start you off with the beautiful views that we have across the area right now. Of course, we have the Green Hills. We're up atop Fremont Peak looking down towards Watsonville. You can see the Monterey Peninsula out in the distance and all in all, a mostly clear sky outside of a few high cirrus clouds. And uh, the boats are out there doing a little racing. You can see them off there on the right edge of your screen. Sun making it a little tough on the, uh, uh, the glare, but they're out there and they got a little wind, not too much as we've had just enough of a sea breeze today to keep things slightly cooler in parts of the coast, but most areas got into the 70s and many of us got into the low to mid 80s, including San Jose, Gilroy, Hollister, Soledad, and King City, all between 81 and 84. Then here come the upper 70s. Salinas got to 79, Watsonville 77. Same thing in Santa Cruz, low 80s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains and middle and upper 60s around the Monterey Peninsula. Big Sur hit 77 and then 81 in Carmel Valley. So that wraps up another beautiful day. We did see some high clouds, but you'll notice no low clouds out there, right? So no marine layer We're in that beautiful time of year where it can be just as warm at the coast as it is inland. Again, mainly in the summertime, it's just the marine layer that keeps us coast uh, much cooler. Otherwise, we'd be hot, just like Fresno. A visible satellite imagery showing not a whole lot going on close to home. You go a little further out, though, and you can see that high pressure, again, in clear skies until you get up to the next front, which is quite a ways from us right now. Looks like the timing on that one will be around Saturday, and it doesn't really look to do a whole lot for us. I'll show you what I mean here. Clouds and rain. Obviously, no rain at this point. We just got some high clouds. We may see a little bit more of that tomorrow afternoon, and that may keep some of the temperatures off by a three or four or five degrees, and we will probably see a little more onshore flow on both Thursday and Friday. So we'll see a cooling trend, although it'll still be really, really nice around here. Now the front arrives, it looks like on Saturday, but this time of year with a weak front, more or less, it just clears us out. If we do form any low clouds, which again, we expect a little bit tomorrow morning and a little more on Friday, this should help to actually bring a northerly wind, drier air into the atmosphere, and just basically get rid of whatever marine layers out there. At least that's the, that's the idea for now. We'll see how it plays out. Mid 40s in the colder spots, upper 40s, otherwise low to mid 50s coast, mostly clear. Again, could see a little bit of that patchy bay fog setting up. We had a little bit of it this morning, but it was confined right to the coast. So your low 50s, upper 40s, again, kind of the same thing inland, uh, a little bit warmer than the last few nights, 63 to 82, so mild to warm tomorrow, but looks like we'll get a little bit of cooling at the coast and even inland probably a little bit of cooling as well. 72 San Francisco, 80 in San Jose, still looking really, really nice. 79 Boulder Creek, 60s though in Aptos, low 70s along the beaches, middle and upper 70s, Scotts Valley. 75 Coralitas, Watsonville 72, 77 in San Juan Batista, about the same Morgan Hill, Gilroy two degrees warmer. And 77 in Hollister, 60s though, Moss Landing could be a little fog in the morning. 73 Salinas, 80 all the way down the Salinas Valley. King City, 82, so very, very pleasant with middle and upper 60s possible along the peninsula. Some low 60s as well. PG out to Monterey and a 66 in Carmel. Carmel Valley though doing 77. So where does this rank in terms of where we would should be this time of year? Average temperatures? Pretty much everybody's still above average compared to normal, so we're still on the right side of that equation. And your KSBW eight-day forecast showing, again, little ups and downs in temperatures as these fronts move through, but no huge changes. Sunshine throughout the weekend. We'll have a little bit of the low cloud deal in the morning, probably along the coast, but that shouldn't really establish itself in any major way. Middle of next week might be another system approaching. Maybe a few showers. We'll see. Long ways out from now. Upper 40s and low 50s for the nights. Might see a few nights with a few more low clouds, but we'll take that afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at our weather quiz. All right. Cirrus clouds can produce rain during the winter. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I could tell you wanted to say no. And no is the answer because those thin cirrus clouds, first of all, they're all ice anyways. So if anything was to fall out of them, it would be, you know, just ice crystals. Right. And whatever does come out of those when it happens, it just evaporates in yeah. the air mass. Because those, those guys are way, way up there. They, they just don't produce any rain. They just don't have a shot at that. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Lee. Mm -hmm.